The Bears and the Great Big Storm by Paul Bright and Jane Chapman. How the wind blew. It howled in the treetops so that branches bent and cracked and the leaves shivered and shook. It blew over the hills and high places, howling and wailing through the rocky passes. Bear and Mrs. Bear slept warm and snug, untroubled in their bed. Then Bear felt a tug at his blanket. He opened one eye. There was Baby, Baby bear. bear. There's a monster outside. I can hear it howling and wailing, and I'm scared. Can I sleep in your bed? There's no such things as monsters, said Bear. What a scaredy bear you are. He pulled back the covers, and Baby Bear snuggled up, warm and safe. How the thunder crashed. It boomed and it crackled as a house shuddered and the windows rattled. It rumbled and rumbled and echoed and faded, only to boom and crash again. Mrs. Bear and Baby Bear slept warm and snug, untroubled in their bed. But Baby Bear, but Bear laid wide awake with his paws on his ears. <laughs> and then Bear felt a tapping on his shoulder. There was Little Bear. There's, there's a monster outside. Its tummy is rumbling and grumbling like it's gonna eat me. Can I sleep with you? There's no such thing as monsters, said Bear. You're another scaredy bear. But he lifted the covers and Little Bear snuggled up warm and safe. How the lightning flashed. It forked and flickered, lightning scurrying the clouds and splashing quick black shadows on the windows and the walls. Mrs. Bear and Baby Bear and Little Bear slept warm and snug and untroubled in their bed. But Bear laid wide awake with his pillow wrapped around his head. That's not his pillow, it's his boring. Then Bear felt a tap on his nose. It was young Bear. There's, there's a monster outside. It has huge twisted horns and is making shadows on my wall. Can I sleep in your bed? There's no such things as monsters, cried Bear. But he let young Bear climb into his bed where he was snuggled safe and warm. Now Bear was wide awake. He listened to the wind howling and thunder crashing. He watched the lightning fork and flash. Young Bear's right, he thought. The shadows on the wall do really look like monster horns. He pulled up the bed covers over his head. Suddenly, there was a rat tat tat, rat tat tat, rat tat tat on the door. Everybody woke up at once. Wha, 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 who, who, who could that be? Said Bear. It's probably nothing, said Mrs. Bear. Go and see. And she gave Bear a little push. Bear climbed nervously out of bed. He picked up the candle to light his way. He padded slowly, ever so slowly, to the door. You're all such scaredy bears, he said to the others. There's no such thing as ma 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 monsters as he turned. The handle, the wind blew up, opened the door, the ha candle went out, and everything was black. Then the lightning flashed. The moose. A monster, shouted Bear. He jumped back in fright and dived straight under the bed. It's not a monster, it's a moose, said the moose, stepping through the doorway. The storm has blown my house away. Can I sleep in yours? Bear peered out from under the bed. Baby bear, little bear, and young bear laughed and laughed and laughed and laughed. What a scaredy bear you are. What a scaredy bear you are, they said. Don't you know, there's no such things as monsters. <laughs>